N95s, cotton face coverings, bandanas. Not all masks are created equal. New research from Duke University shows which masks work the best. Yeah, there's, there's lots of duct tape on this gizmo. <laughs> Duke chemist and physicist Martin Fisher created a test setup consisting of a box, a laser, a mirror, a lens, and a cell phone camera. So we have the, the speaker hole right here. We have the light sheet going in from the left side, going out the right side, and the camera on the far end looking at the light sheet. And when you speak and you emit droplets, and as soon as they go through the light sheet, they scatter light. So you see a little flash of light that gets recorded by the video camera. Duke's research found that N95 masks without valves, those are the ones worn by hospital and healthcare workers, did the best. Surgical or polypropylene masks also performed well. Handmade cotton face coverings provided good coverage, eliminating a substantial amount of spray from normal speech. But bandanas and neck fleeces did not block the droplets much at all. It's not the case that any mask is better than nothing. There are some masks that actually hurt rather than do good. We attribute this to the fleece, the textile, breaking up those big particles into many little particles. They tend to hang around longer in the air. Mask wearing continues to be a polarizing issue. Some public officials are now banning masks. We asked the Duke scientists if their research muddies the truth about the effectiveness of wearing masks. Their answer, mask wearing is a must. I think the general consensus worldwide is that masks work and everyone should wear a mask. Of course, we're trying to shed light on which ones are truly covering and providing barriers. It seemed obvious to me is that you're also protecting yourself uh, when you're wearing it, but you're protecting other people from you if you don't know that you have the infection. Researchers say their work is meant to show other labs and us how to check how well masks work. They say a cardboard box and a hundred dollar laser bought online could do the same task as what they constructed. For Newsy, I'm Lindsay Thies.